first file we're going to be looking at today is going to be the Lecture 1 code that I've posted online. Um, I'm going to go ahead and open up that Lecture 1 code, and at the very start of that code you'll see this, this line called lib it says Library Data Table, um, which is the first line here. Now, there's a couple of library statements in this, in this code. There's library ggplot2, and then there's library data table. Um, I didn't, so both of those two codes, in order to run them, you're going to need to install some pack, uh, basically some packages. So you're going to have to do more installation. Now, um, I wanted to talk with you a little bit about the process for installing packages in R. Um, a package is basically a collection of functions that uh, per, that does a particular func a particular purpose. Um, usually, these have been packaged together because they're helpful for doing a particular job, like uh, reading data in, which is the data table package, or plotting data, which is within the ggplot2. Um, but they're basically just functions designed specifically for that purpose. Um, and you need to know how to install packages in order to use them in R. Um, for each package, you only ever have to install it one time, so it's not a repeated process, but we are going to be using lots and lots of packages throughout this course, so you need to be familiar with how to install packages. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go Tools, and then I'm going to go to Install Packages. Um, so Tools is up here, and then you click on that little tab, and it brings down and it says Install Packages is the very first option here. So that's what I'm going to click on. And so it opens up this little window here where it says you can put your packages that you want to install here. Um, the first package that we're going to be using is obviously that data.table, which is uh, the first the line that says library up there says data.table. So I type data. It completes to it auto completes to a, uh, a bunch of different um, data packages. So the first one in the list is data dot table, uh, which is the one we want. So I'm just going to click on data dot table there, and so it's got data dot table in here. And now I just click install, and that's all there is to it. It's now downloading and installing that package. Now it may it may run a bunch of code here. It may not. Um, it may produce a bunch of red text, it may not. That The red text doesn't mean that you have an error. I wish that R would save red text only for errors, but that's not the way it works. So because it's sometimes an error and sometimes it's not, you really have to read what's there to find out if it's good or bad. And so here it doesn't say anything about error. Um, it just says testing if these packages can be installed, and then it says uh, so it seems like it checked those things and it's done. Uh, it seems like everything is working. The easiest way to tell if it's working is just to go to that first line of the library data.table and then go to, and then hit control enter or as you know code and then you can run the selected line. Um, when you run it you should see something that looks a little like this. Data data.table 1.2 12.2 using six threads. This is not an error message. An error message would read something like um, error li package library data table not found or something like that. Uh, that would be an error. This is just everything working just fine. Um, so right now everything is installed and working properly um, and the data table package is working just fine. Um, that's basically what I wanted to talk about today. The other thing is is that once we've got data table downloaded and installed, um, we can go ahead and run um, this line here which has churn and we can fread churn.csv. Um, so that's going to read in basically this fread command is just a simple data import. Um, we're going to import the data that's in churn.csv. Now, it's important to note that churn.csv is stored in my working directory. So I've already set my working directory here. Churn.csv is supposed to be in that working directory. So this should work now because it's, this file is in that directory. If that file is not in the working directory, if your working directory is not set to the right place, you're going to have a problem. Um, but right here, this should work just fine and you should read the, pack, you should read the data 
um, into this new variable term. So fread um, reads in the data, and then we're assigning that data to a variable. That variable is called churn. Um, and you can see it's over here. It's got data. It's got a bunch of stuff in it. Um, but that's basically everything working right. Uh, the other library that we're supposed to install is ggplot. If you already know, if you figured out how to install packages, that's fine. I'm just going to go over it again. You go tools, install packages, um, and then there's ggplot. And ggplot2 is actually the, the one that we want. So it auto completes to that. And we'll just go ahead and install that one as well. Um, that's basically how this is, how installing packages works. Uh, make sure you, that after you've installed the package that you still run the library command. Sometimes people run library before they install it and then they install it and then they wonder why it's not working. And it's because they need to run the library command again after they've installed it because the library command didn't work the first time because it wasn't installed. Um, so make sure you run the library command uh, and do it just the way that I did here and everything should work just fine. Thanks.